What's up guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today we're going to be trying out this RG deck which is seen all over inside the top 200. So let's jump into a match and see how we do. So here we are inside our first match. I am going to be playing this deck inside a Grand Challenge because I just don't have the card levels to play it on ladder. But Vulcan has used this. I think this deck's like, okay, uh, all over. I think it's maybe, from what I was looking, maybe 12 times I saw it just inside the top 100 alone. Okay, not really bothered about the Valkyrie. I will fish him in a, when I get enough elixir. Just to get a nice activation in. So you can just see the sheer power of this deck. Okay. No sheer power. Okay, nice. So that's going to be towered down there. Against an under level player, but. Okay, nice. Fisherman's OP. So we're going to change to the opposite lane now. See if we can uh, take out this second tower. Oof, nice. Okay. I don't think I need to counter that, do I? I'm just going to go for the three crown here. Lucky I played Baby Dragon that lane. Good decision there. I've got Lightning. If I play air units, he won't be able to play his Pekka, will he? So, then we'll go in for the three crown. That's down. Play our Skeletons. So we can't get the Pekka. I'll get as much value from the Pekka. There we go. Well played. That was a good game. Nice three crown. Can just see how strong this deck really is. Hope it's a three crown. And get lightning down. There we go. GG's. Well played. Good game. Good luck. Back inside the second match. So here we are against OB OBBX. So one thing I love about this deck is Furnace is a great starting card. He is under level, so I'm just gonna lightning that. You've got the fisherman to pull units away from your royal giant. You've got your furnace to keep applying that constant pressure. You've got your RG, which if you can take a tower down, you basically win because RG usually has matchup. So let's see. Play skeletons for the miner. Okay, prediction. Okay, okay, cool. We'll get a hit, but can get counter push hopefully. Please in time, please, please, please. Oof, is that going to be in time? Not quite, okay. We've got Fisherman, so I might try to activate. Just gonna log here. I'm gonna take that charge, because I'll come out with damage advantage, so it's just worth doing, taking, I think. Save the Elixir. And then you've got the Baby Dragon Splash. You've got your Lightning for the E-Drags that are out there. Wizards, if you're facing them a lot on ladder. So just gonna play Fisherman. Again, I'm under-leveled opponent again, so thank you, Supercell. Now I can just apply pressure with a furnace once again. If he allows these to connect, I should be in lightning range. Okay, that wasn't very uh, going to counter push, though. He will have scam me, so I've got my log. Okay. Hmm. I wonder why I didn't play Skarmy. Maybe a new ad log. Play my Fisherman. Nice. So I've done a massive amount of damage here to both lanes, so that wizard's just gonna die. It's gonna log here. Play you and then play you. Just to try to keep that tower alive. So that left lane's log range, so nice. I'm gonna try and take this tower out, so I really want two crowns, so. Say it's in log range, need to double check that. 84, it's not okay. Okay, so that's, that's in lightning range, and the other one is not quite in log range just yet, but play skeletons here, play you here. Please don't say I've just thrown this match away. It's lightning that lane. GG's, well played. Unfortunately, not a three crown or a two crown. But we still won. Back inside the third match. 
So here we are inside our third and final battle of the video against Sheen T. Wood. However you want to say that. One thing I'm thinking of bringing to the channel soon, guys, is like a news thing, maybe about 10 minutes once a week. Can discuss things that happen in the CRL, the news, updates that are coming, new balances, things that I think need to be changed. Things that happen on Twitter, people falling out like they do, pros, arguing, bickering. But comment down below if you'd like to see that. I don't think it's something that's covered enough in the community. I know Legendary Ray is very good at it. I don't really want to take away from him, but this, I think I'd like to put a new spin on it to how he does it. So Let's go Royal Giant. Oof, okay. To log. Now let's get a fair bit of chip damage there. And Fire Spirit's definitely helped. Gonna have to take that mini Pekka. Wow, she's so strong. Okay, can pull this back, focus. All played on his behalf there for changing lanes, so uh, let's see how we do. Can pull this back and double elixir easily. Play furnace now. Skeletons to kite. Just gonna take that ice spirit. Okay, so it's letting my fire spirits connect. Let's such a delay drop that. He's playing his mini packer there. Nice, take that out. So again, just gonna reset with furnace. Keep applying that pressure with the furnace. Try to stack them up if you can. Let's go into log. Nice. And Fisherman does tank a hit, so. Now his mini peck is out of cycle, so I can play my RG. It's not out of cycle. So he cycles back to it very quick, okay. One more hit, nope. He's just gonna be super log value there. Definitely going to take that. Please baby deconnect. Doesn't, okay. So, in a sec, I'm gonna go Royal Giant, and I'm gonna go Lightning. Lightning here. Nice. That should be good game, well played. Good luck, awesome. Against a counter as well, so that proves how strong this deck is. I'll leave the link in the description below if you wanna try it out. Let me know how all you guys do, and also let me know if you wanna see a news video once a week in the comments below. Till next time.